Oftentimes in Christianity, I find people are very reticent to engage principles of administration, principles of good governance, principles of responsibility and accountability. Everybody wants to be led by the Spirit. But have you ever noticed how much in the Bible it teaches about administration, responsibility, accountability? In the book of Numbers, in our reading today, I'm just going to walk you through a bunch of verses, and I want you to see some things. Now, I love the new NLT. I'm really enjoying it this year in my daily devotions, maybe more than ever before. But I want you just to notice with me. Let's start in chapter 3, verse, oh, verse 24. Chapter 3, verse 24. The leader of the Gershonite clans was Elisaph, the son of Lael. These two clans were responsible to care for the tabernacle, including the sacred tent and its coverings, the curtain and its tents. Now notice, they had specific responsibilities assigned. Now look at verse 27 and 28. The descendants of Kohath were composed of the clans descended from Aram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzil. There were 8,500 males, one month old or older among the Kohanite clans. They were responsible to take care of the sanctuary. They were assigned the south area of the tabernacle for their camp. Now look at verse 31. These four clans were responsible for the care of the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, and the various articles used in the sanctuary, the inner curtain, and all the equipment related to their use. Now look at verse 37. They were also responsible for the posts of the courtyard and all their bases, pegs, and ropes. Now, I want you to notice in each one of these verses, we see specific responsibilities assigned to specific groups of people. They couldn't just, the, the, the Levites couldn't just do, well, I want to do this, and I want to do this, and well, it's my turn. They had specific responsibilities assigned. Now look at verse 38. The area in front of the tabernacle and the east toward the sunrise was reserved for the tents of Moses and Aaron and his sons, who had the final responsibility for the sanctuary on behalf of the people of Israel. Final responsibility. So these specific responsibilities were delegated. Moses had final responsibility. Now look at chapter 4, verse 16. Eliezer, son of Aaron the priest, will be responsible for the oil of the lampstand, the fragrant incense, the daily grain offering, and the anointing oil. In fact, Eliezer will be responsible for the entire tabernacle and everything in it, including the sanctuary and its furnishings. So this one son of, of Aaron, he was responsible for everything within the tabernacle. Final responsibility. Now, others would carry it. Others had other duties, but it was him who was in charge. He had final responsibility. Now look at chapter 4, verse 4. The duties of the Kohathites at the tabernacle were related to the most sacred objects. Verse 24. The Gershonite clans will be responsible for carrying service and for carrying loads. Now, here's duties. So we have specific responsibilities, we have final responsibilities, and we have specific duties. Now, I can go on and on, but I'm just trying to lay a thought for you. Now, let me look at just a few more verses with you. Look at chapter 3, verse 32. Eliezer, the son of Aaron the priest, was the chief administrator over all of the Levites with special responsibility for the oversight of the sanctuary. So he is the chief administrator administrator with special responsibilities over all the tabernacle. Now look at 4 verse 19. This is what they must do so that they will live and not die when they approach the most sacred objects. Aaron and his sons must always go with them and assign a specific duty or load for each person to carry to each person. All right, so these people are under the administration of Eliezer and Aaron. But Eliezer and Aaron must assign them specific duties or specific things that they are to carry. When they packed up the tabernacle and moved it to the next camp, specific assignments for what to carry. These were given out by the administrators. Chapter 4, verse 27. Aaron and his sons will direct the Gershonites regarding all their duties. 
whether it involves moving the equipment or doing other work. They must assign the Gershonite responsibilities for the loads they are to carry. Okay, now again, notice specific responsibilities and assignments given by the administrators. Now look at verse 28. They will be directly responsible to Itmahar, the son of Aaron, the priest. All right, so directly responsible too. So they hold people accountable. Chapter 4, verse 33. So these are the duties of the Maronite clans at the tabernacle, and they are directly responsible to Itmar, son of Aaron, the priest. Now, all I've shown you today is just reading through things that, forgive me, sometimes we blow through really quickly because, oh, that really doesn't relate to me. And I've showed you specific responsibilities, final responsibilities, specific duties, administrators over, administrators directing the assignments, administrators holding people accountable. God has always been a God of structure and organization. Now, beloved, we, we live in a world that doesn't, people, I don't want anybody to tell me what to do. I'm serving God. But you know what? It has always been this way that God has order within the work of God. <music>